the penalty phase of Johar Sarnayev's trial continues this morning after an emotional day of testimony from survivors. The defense elaborated on a profane gesture the convicted Boston Marathon bomber made in a holding cell in 2013. Don Daler is in Boston with the surveillance video not revealed until yesterday. Don, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Prosecutors had portrayed that gesture as representative of Sarnayev's callous, even hate-filled nature. But the defense tried to imply that that was just the antics of a typical teen. For the first time Wednesday, jurors saw video of a still bandaged Johar Sarnayev in a holding cell three months after the bombings. The then 19 year old can be seen pacing, peering into the lens, and primping his hair in front of the camera before he flashes the middle finger. As Sarnayev sat in the courtroom, victims, including former dance instructor Adrian Hazlitt Davis, shared what he took from them. Seen here clinging onto her husband just before the second blast, she recalled crying out in pain. I thought that because I couldn't hear myself scream, she said weeping, that I was dead. Family members of MIT police officer Sean Collier also took the stand, testifying that Collier's mother now suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and couldn't get out of bed for months after her son's death. Shrapnel from the bomb cost Eric Wally an ankle and his sight in one eye. A BB remains lodged in his brain. Fighting back sobs, he talked about his greatest fear when after the blast, he was separated from his wife of 45 years. She thought I was dead, and I thought she was dead. The jury must decide whether Sarnayev should get life or death, but some relatives of the victims have already made up their minds. Two of Liz Norton's sons each lost a leg in the attacks. I feel very, very strongly that um, I hope he gets a death penalty. I watch my kids, you know, my two boys almost die. Prosecutors will wrap up their case today, and then on Monday, the defense gets its turn to try to save the life of their client. Nora. All right, Don, thank you so much.